In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a JBase license on a Linux server. Typically, when users install JBase for the first time, they have an evaluation key. As you can see, if I run J licensing info, it shows that I have a five user evaluation license. License keys are most often issued via an email with PDF attachments. For the purposes of this video, I have copied a PDF to, the t to a text file. Now I'll copy the key into my clipboard. You will see here that the target system gateway laptop matches my gateway laptop hostname here. Um, it shows it's a 10 user license and the various products that are valid for this license. Though not essential, we can use the jkey check command to verify the license against this server. See the, the machine name matches and it repeats the product uh, details and the number of users. This command is most useful if you have multiple JBase servers and you are unsure to which server a key belongs. But it's worthwhile noting that changing the hostname will invalidate your JBase licenses. So if you plan to change your hostname, send an email to license at jbase.com. There are two commands for installing licenses. There is j install key which is used for installing the standard server license. And then there is also J license upgrade, which is used for upgrading a server license or for adding multi-session or web session or upgrading either of those types of keys. It is also the command to finalize license installation as you will see shortly. So let's install this, the uh, server license first. Um, before I do that, I need to set myself up as administrator. Now that I'm root, I need to set up my environment to run JBS commands. One useful trick if you find yourself needing to run a lot of JBase commands as root is to set up a profile D script. So let's call this uh, sudo JBase. And the first thing we need to run is a dot slash opt slash JBase slash current version JBase mv sh. And because this will update, uh, this will set LD library path, which will uh, potentially uh, break commands like curl because JBase shoots with its own SSL. I'm going to um, add another um, setting to fix uh, the LD library path so we can run JBase and curl because I'm one of these people that likes to run curl. So that convoluted command uh, gets the uh, dependency of SSL from curl and does a bit of massaging just to get the directory, which is all I want. Now to prepend LD library path. Next, I'm gonna chmod it so that only root um, will read this file because it might break um, the environment for regular users. Okay, so let's try that out. Okay, if we get our JBase uh, environment set up, so now we can um, get that license key again. Okay, so that's installed the um, the server license, and it's showing you that it's uh, backed up the system properties. The system properties are old. Now, if we do a J licensing info. It's still not quite right um, because we haven't reset the shared memory. So let's do that. And now we have our standard uh, license for 10 users installed. Now let's install the other license, uh, the multi-session. Now this time I'm going to use J license upgrade to install the multi-session license. So the dash A is, is for adding a license. If, I, if this was a, uh, an updated multi-session, I would do a dash U to do an update, and the dash M is for multi-session. Reset the shared memory. And now I have uh, one standard 10 user and 20 multi-session user, user licenses. 
and that's all there is to it.